it is Saturday. I missed last weekend. Last weekend was just a train smash right from the start. It was just too busy and we couldn't get to everything we wanted to do. So, yeah. Today is better. This whole weekend is better. We're not going anywhere. We're not getting visitors. So, it's going to be slow. Yeah. You might hear some noise occasionally. My husband is um, in his tool room. He's finally packing out his tools. And so, yeah, he's making a noise outside there. So, what do you think of this? I love it. It's finished. Yeah, very nice. Um, let me stand up a little bit for you. Very, very nice. I'm very happy. Um, I posted a photo of it on Facebook and Instagram last night, and I was like, what's wrong with this photo? It doesn't look good. Uh -huh. What's wrong with this photo is a new cell phone. Yeah, so you see, I had an LG dual screen. It's a single phone like this, plug in now, like this. And then it goes into a casing, and if you flip open the casing, the casing inside becomes a second screen. And I've had it for two years, but Hilda is as clumsy as hell. So the poor thing fell at least three times a week. So my outer casing is really destroyed. So I had to get something else because this phone on its own is not going to survive. Um, if I start walking around just with it, without the outer casing, it's going to die within two weeks. So I had to get a new phone. Yeah. So I got something that is supposed to be Hilda proof. It's a caterpillar. I know, but it's drop proof from 1.8 meters, it's waterproof, it's sandproof, and if it's dirty, you can shove it under the tap and wash it. Now, for all of that, I don't have a very nice camera on this phone that I found out yesterday. So, you know, it's like... It's like considering when, whether you want to move in with a man or not. There's a whole lot of things that you really like and then there's some that you really don't like and you've got to sit and contemplate in your head, can I live with that shit forever? So this is now like me with a phone. Can I live with that camera for two years? So I decided, you know what? Out and about of the house, I'll take the caterpillar with me and I'll keep this one inside the house just for when I want to take photos and so on and so forth. I do have a camera. I've got a very good camera. Well, not so much slip. Then you've got to find the micro SD card. And ugh, me and the camera are not very big friends. My, my photographic creativity is absolutely non-existent. Anyway. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Now, it's this pink bamboo that I showed you a couple of weeks back. It's a lovely multi-shade um, bamboo. It's not it's not such a dull pink as it looks on the screen. It's a little bit more bright, but yeah. Um, what I want to do is, uh, again, a little t-shirt top to wear to work. It's going to have raglan sleeves and it's going to have lace on the entire back panel. And then once I've split for the body, I want the lace to creep up from here towards the front. That's the idea I have in my head. Whether that will work, I have no idea yet. I'll have to knit it and see. No. So today, I'm going to sit with my knitting guides and see what I can find in terms of lace that I like. Talking about that. If you ever see these books in a second-hand shop or a thrift store or something, buy them. They're out of print. You're not going to see them again. I grew up with these books, although the ones that my mom had was a previous um, print edition. They were about that broad. They were about half the size and a little bit shorter and thicker, obviously. But what this is, is this gives you... Um, just a stitch pattern. This is now cables. It gives you just a stitch pattern and it tells you 
the multiples of stitches that it will work over if you need multiples. Um, let me show you something else. So, okay, there's lace. So it will tell you you need multiples of that plus two or whatever, and that's all they give you and the pattern. So you have to make it fit into a garment pattern. And I grew up with these books. My, my mom never um, bought a pattern. She never taught me to knit from a pattern or crochet. Um, but we knitted more than we crocheted. Um, this is what we had. And, and she taught me to decide what the garment must look like in your head. And then make the stitches fit with this um, multiples that it gives you. And construct your own garment. And that's actually where my designing comes from. It comes from my mum. But okay. I've got five of these. The first one is not that hot. The first one is more um, knitting techniques. Learning to knit different casts on different cast offs and things like that. How to join two knitted pieces together. Um, number two. Yeah, number two is knit and pull patterns, rip patterns, basic cables, edging patterns. Three, it's patterns for texture and color, cable patterns, panels, lace panels. Number five, I love number five. Number five is Aaron panels. It's really, really nice. You can see I've used it. It's falling apart, but I love these books. Of all the books that I've purchased in my life, number four is slip stitch patterns, cross stitch patterns, and cable panels. Of all the craft books that I've bought in my life, and there's been many, these have been used the most. Whenever I'm looking for an interesting stitch pattern, off I go to the Harmony Guides. Yeah. I know I've seen secondhand ones on Amazon. But um, if you ever see them in a thrift shop, a hospice shop, a second-hand bookshop, buy them. You won't find them again. Okay, so that's about all the news from me. We're really going to have a very slow, slow, slow Saturday today. You know, <laughs> last night, I grew up in um, a small town. And I lived in a small town before I met Tris. And then we moved to the farm for many years. So I've never really lived in the middle of the city thing like now. Sometimes life throws things at us that we don't like. But you can't always pick them. Sometimes you just have to survive with them. But me, my personality... I'm this type of person that if you force me into something that, like now, I have to live in a city now. That's the thing. I have to live in a city. Then I will go look for the positives and I will embrace it. And that is what I'm doing. I've got three very big malls. Oh, there's so many businesses around us. But we've got this tiny triangular shaped neighborhood in the middle of all this bustle. But in here, it's very quiet. So it's actually not hard to live here. It's very, very nice. But I'm now checking out all the malls and the shops. And it's actually quite nice to have a variety available. I think that's why I didn't like shopping before. Because in the small towns, I get so frustrated going to the shops. And you can't find what you're looking for. So here, there's, if you don't find it at that mall, you might find it at that one, or in this one, or over there, but there's a choice. So I'm enjoying it. Um, so last night, it's Friday night, we're tired, we've had a rough week. I don't feel like cooking, we don't feel like going out, we don't feel like driving to, for a takeaway. And I said, you know, I think, wait a second. Download the Mr. Delivery app. I've never ordered food to be delivered at my house. I kid you not. I have never. <laughs> I did it last night for the first time. Um, me being a vegetarian, I ordered Thai green curry. Vegetable curry. I've never had Thai green curry before in my life. Oh my word. I nearly died. <laughs> After the third bite, I was like, I was moaning and complaining. <laughs> My husband graciously swapped foods with me. <laughs> he had fried rice. So, um, that is me in the city. I'm learning 
to find my way in the city. And I'm actually enjoying it. I must just find a damn habitation shop. Yeah, uh, luckily yesterday I had to go visit my mom in a small town where we used to be many years ago. So I ran into the happy shop there for these buttons. That was another thing, you know. I wanted to put just grey buttons on there. And my husband looked at me and he said, oh, that's boring. So yeah, the buttons are not matching. They're all different. Different colors, different designs. I think it's quite fitting with the little cordy. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I need to find, uh, I need to check out the happy shops here. And I need to check out the yarn shops here. I haven't been to one. I know of a couple, but I've never been there. I don't know what they stock. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what the prices are like. So, I still need to get there as well. Yeah. I did the same thing when I started working. I'm, I'm an Apple girl. Well, I used to be an Apple girl. I had an Apple phone. I had an Apple tablet, I, an iPad. I had a MacBook. And suddenly I'm back into corporate and I'm working in a Windows environment. And I have to develop on a Windows platform. And so I decided, okay, stuff this. Then my affair with Apple is now out. I've broken it off. I'm no longer with Apple. I bought myself a Windows laptop and I'm embracing the change and making the best of it. I'm learning everything I can. <clears throat> and that is just what we have to do in life. We have to be resilient. Hey? Sometimes we get things that we don't like, that we don't want, and you just have to adapt. So look for the positives and embrace the positives and make them outshine the negatives. That I've always lived like that. And... Um, it works for me. Hmm. So I'm quite happy at the moment. I'm very happy with my Cordy. I can't wait for Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm going to wear it to Santa. Yeah. But today, I'm now going to sit on my behind <clears throat> and browse through my books and decide what I want in it. The pattern. The pattern will go out <clears throat> maybe tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. I think so. I think. Let's say the pattern will be out tomorrow. Oh, there's still um, three names were suggested. Um, well, there was a whole lot of suggestions. These are the three that I like the most for this cardigan. So they are up on the Ilona Slow Life Creations Facebook page as well as the Instagram as well as the Facebook groups Merry Moments and Ilona Slow Life Creations. And you can vote for them using the like thingy. So if you give it a thumbs up, you are voting for <coughs> Comfort Stripey, which was suggested by Letsy Hoosen. Sorry. <coughs> oh, it's spring. Oh, my word. I've got such hay fever and sinus. You don't want to know. If you give it a wow little face, you are giving your vote for Rainbow Zebra that was um, suggested by Bernadine Lopesha. And if you give it a heart, a love, it's for Stripey Chick by Hanali Willifir. And obviously I will announce the winner tomorrow when I publish the pattern and the person who suggested the pattern can get the pattern for free. Right, I think... That is all the news that I have. Yeah, I think so. So today I'm going to sit and knit and rest <coughs> and drink some Southern Comfort and bry and make music tonight. My husband has got this 40-year-old hi-fi, a pioneer of Vante's. Seven, I think. It's a very old hi-fi. But he loves his hi-fi. He's got some um, vinyls, long players as well as seven singles. And on a Saturday, we start up the hi-fi. And then I message the neighbors and I say, if the noise gets too much, just let me know. Then I'll turn the sound down. We're having a party. But at the meantime, it's just me and my husband having a party. <laughs> and then we move the furniture in the 
social room and the bride come out and then we dance. So every Saturday night we have a blast. So yeah, we're still going to have some great music and I like a bride this afternoon. Yeah, so that's my Saturday. It's going to be slow. And um, I suggest you make yours slow as well. And if life throws you lemons, make lemonade. If you get some situations in life that you don't like, find the positives. Focus on that and outshine the negatives. Kelly Clarkson says, today is a great day to have a great day. And if it's not great, just change it. I live by that. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Have a great slow Saturday.